Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by our Teespring store, so click on the link pinned in the comments below. Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scooby News. A fleet of autonomous sailboat drones are now patrolling the north coast. These solar powered boats are conducting a summer long survey for the Northwestern Fisheries Science Centre. Uh, what they're, oh man, I've completely thrown myself off there. What they're doing is basically surveying fish populations offshore. Hmm. But why, why, uh, why are they uh, doing this? Um, it's basically they're trying to figure out fish populations. It's pretty simple. It's to figure out how many fisheries can, how many, how many fisheries? fish, you, the, the first, the, how many fish they can catch. Yeah, that basically. Uh, so the study is mainly focusing on hake fish populations. Um, as of recording, there are three drones in the water, um, two of which are collecting data between Eureka and Coos cool, Bay. Cool. Um, and another has been reported has been reported, um, or is around the Humboldt water. Yeah, they don't really know too sure whether there was, there was basically on record, no one really said that it was in that water, but it's been spotted. <laughs> so in theory, there's only two, but people are saying that there is one in that just, one as just well. Just doing its own thing. Yeah, just, oh, just, that, just that's just Carl. Yeah. Don't, don't worry, he'll, he'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once he gets tired, he'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Although these drones, to be honest, seem to be a great idea, they're solar powered which is great, they don't need, pretty much don't need any help from uh, humans apart from, you know, kicking them Get out. Get in the water. Get them in the water. Uh, some believe actually sending out survey ships, which obviously is what normally happens, is in fact better due to the fact that they carry out data collections over large areas. That is until they meet shallow waters which conveniently don't affect drones. Yeah, a small little drone who can get into the little nooks and crannies. Yep. Um, it's just if they get stuck then they need to be <laughs> um, so yeah, just let the drones do their thing, increase their range. That's the only reason why boats have a wider range because they're bigger. You've programmed the drone oh, to <laughs> stay in this range. Yeah, that's a bit stupid. Uh, and yeah, they'll capture the same amount of information, if not more, because they're not like they don't sleep. They, they do their thing all the time. Um, or maybe they do if they're solar powered. I don't know, let us know. Um, if not, they might even come, if they work during the night, they'll be collecting even more, more data. data because they're not having a lunch break. They're not going to the loo. So basically you're being anti man-made and you're pro, you're pro drone. Yeah. Don't at him. Or at him. You can at me, at safe underscore diving. Are you trying to plug your own thing there, Mark? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, if you've got any, anything you want to say about it, yeah, yeah. I doubt it. it. We're only people, about 10 people are going to watch this. It's a boring video. It's it, is the, it is the future of a lot oh, God, of water yeah. exploration is drones and ROVs. Yeah. Because they any, can do things. Anything to do with deep sea, anything to do with rescuing or searching. Yeah, it's far more practical just to send a robot down than a human. A human, you know, human. Uh, uh, anyway, so the drones are out scanning as we speak for the next 60 days mm -hmm. or so, uh, where the information will then be collected, analyzed, and then of course acted upon, uh, because now all the, uh, all the fish and chip shops are gonna know where the hake is. Um, yeah, and barely with any human interaction, hopefully. Uh, yeah, you just kick them in, they do their job, they come back, good boy, download the data. Who's a good drum? Yeah. Who's a good yeah, drum? And then you chuck it in the recycling bin. No, um, it's single use. What you do is, once the drone's out there, put you it back out to sea. Put it back out to sea. <laughs> Command sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think about tiny little drones doing their things, autonomous? Um, what could possibly go wrong? Um, is this really right? I presume they're doing it so that it's more for sustainability, so they can like more accurately understand like quotas. No. Because they're like, oh, actually, there's, there's loads of hate there. Let's get them all. Leave a leave a boy and a girl, just two, <laughs> like Noah. Like Noah, doing Noah. Yeah, it worked with Noah. We're all here because of him. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, are drones the future, um, <laughs> yeah. or can man do things no. better than robots? No. Uh, we can do something. Yeah, we're good at polluting, killing the earth, making single-use plastics. That's very Literally true. destroying everything. Uh, uh, let's have a chat about uh, small little drones in the water. Maybe they can go scuba diving for us. 
so that'll be fun. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed today's story, then why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies, and smash on that little bell icon. What else can drones do? Um, basically, stay up to date with all things scuba diving. Um, thank you for watching, and safe diving. Bye. Because there are drones about. Drones! And they might see you as some giant hate. It's that time of year again, that's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year, so if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and, of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And, as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So, if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.